my goodness, the first omen was surprisingly good? Is Blasphemy finally back? Hello Flickering Myth family and welcome to our channel. My name is EJ and we have a new movie review ahead of us today. We are diving into the prequel to The Omen. Yeah, we're talking about the first omen. This is very real. Look, I'm not saying to go into the first omen with lower expectations, especially when I'm about to give it a fairly positive review, but I went to this movie hesitant. Look, it is a prequel for a 70s movie we've seen decades ago. There's already been a remake. What the hell could they possibly do to spice things up? Well, things were spicy. This movie has graphic imagery. It talks about religion, not just the Catholic Church. It seems to be a, a conversation about religion in general. There is a wonderful performance from Nell Tiger Free here at the center of all of this craziness. Wow. I was pleasantly surprised by how th this movie takes some time to cook. It, it gets you in. The first hour, I was just like, okay, I'm, I'm enjoying the, the spooky setting of it. But that second hour hits things get wild and it does not let up the, nell's performance here is one possessive like she just it just seems like she is taken over by a spirit and just fully dives into it by the time things start unraveling and we start figuring things out her journey is insane and i love what this did for trying to set up the the omen movie this i I've seen the comparison online. It's not going to shock anyone. It reminds me of Rogue One. Like, the way this ends, you were truly about to start the Omen. And that's exactly how we should do a prequel. Let's not, you know, exactly tie in everything. Like, the, the movie didn't hinder on trying to get to the ending. It wasn't like, well, we have to get to this ending because that's where the Omen starts. It wasn't trying to do that, but it felt like it naturally got to that point. And I forgot how crazy the Omen is and how crazy it begins. They were already trying to put him in power. They are already trying to get Damien there and we're seeing that kind of brew already. I love the conversations that this movie had about the church needing a figure to of evil so they can get more people in religion. Wow, things were said here. Conversations were had, imagery was shown, I was shocked, cr uh, cringed. Oh, I was like, oh, this is gory and graphic. I did not expect this movie to take me the journey. I did not expect the first omen to be a little bit better than Maculate, but somehow it was. Nell Tiger Free is playing Margaret, a young woman who is ready to take her, her take the veil. She's ready to become a nun, full time, work in the business. She's had a weird upbringing with a lot of stuff. It seems to be religion has always been there for her as a way to escape from what she believes are visions and things that have always been kind of affecting her. So she's going to the church. She's in Rome, and things happen. Like she's there, and there's possibly a woman there who's going to give birth to the Antichrist. She is kind of connected to that girl. She feels sympathy for her, especially because she feels the church is trying to do a bunch of things to harm her. So she gets in protective mode. She's trying to figure out mysteries. I love the second half of this movie, like I said, when we start trying to figure out the mystery of the one crazy girl who is possibly the mother of, you know, Damien and all that. It's really interesting because it becomes, like, a, like I said, a little bit of a mystery, a little bit of a hunt. And I like that. And I think it really, it drives the narrative because for a while we're trying to meet Margaret as a character spend some time with her and you're like well this is this, this is what's gonna happen in the movie right like and then things happen in the movie and you're like oh i'm not shocked fairly predictable as the plot unfolds but i wasn't really trying to have this this plot really change my mind much like the other movie i saw this evening monkey man you can take a simple simple premise and use your talented filmmaking the way this feels authentically 70s. I'll get into that in the next segment. But I love that you can take a simple premise like this. A girl trying to save another girl from an evil church. And use, like I said, graphic imagery. Use blasphemy. Use conversations to be had. Use the omen as a, a, a structure to build towards. All of this helped the first omen feel less like just a generic prequel from 20th Century Fox and an actually decent movie that just happens to be attached to a major IP. The first omen has plenty to compliment. Do I think the script is a bit bare bones? Yes, but I absolutely loved the filmmaking style of this. It felt like it was shot on film. It, I, I, correct me if I'm wrong, anyone who's a major tech person, but the authentic look of it, there was, there was like a soft focus on the cinematography, which to me is very 70s, Italian and horror soft focus everyone's pretty the neons are neoing you know everything is bright or in your face are really dark and terrifying those are the color palettes we're working 
with. And that's what this feels like as well. Also, the camera movements. Um, Arkasha Stevenson, I believe that's how you pronounce this director's name. Her and her DP, my goodness, this camera felt alive. The way, especially 70s, would have a lot of pans, a lot of zooms, and they use it effectively. There's this one shot where they're just getting like almost B-roll and weird kind of trippy stuff's happening, but they're like floating all over Rome. That camera work blew my mind. It, the, the camera work in this movie is great. And I will say the graphic imagery, the the pushing of boundaries, I would not say this movie is outright offensive. It's religious. Like I said, it's, it's blasphemous in the way Omen and Exorcist and all these movies have always been a little bit blasphemous. But I really like that this movie went for terror and horror within womanhood, within motherhood. I, I like that. I think it, it adds a different level of scariness to this because you feel for her. Even if you're not a woman, you're like, oh, but I don't want to be in this situation. I don't want to be told what to do or be kind of placed to where I'm supposed to be and then just accept my fate. I love stories where people are like, well, here's what you're supposed to do. And they're like, no, I'm not doing that. Even if by the end of it, they're still going down that dark path. I always love stuff like this. Oh, and my goodness, the ending of this movie. That's where the cinematography, that's where the graphic imagery, that's where the conversations about religion and things like that all come to a massive head. And I love the final couple moments of this movie. It gets banana cuckoo pants crazy. And then we kind of resolved and I'm like, oh, where are we going? And it just, what a solid ending. I don't want to say I want a prequel to the, or a, a sequel to the first Omen, but I like what they did and they set up enough here where there was other conversations to be had that wasn't in the original Omen franchise. That's what I wanted. I wanted to feel like it was paying respect to the original, but also pushing it forward and doing its own thing. It found that balance really well. And I am surprised that this movie is as solid as it is and it had an ending as explosive and oh my God, as it did. The first Omen is about to drop into theaters in a couple hours, go see it. I, I highly recommend it. I think one waiting to, for us to review it was a mistake. I could have had this review out probably Monday if y'all really pushed it and rearranged screenings easier because this movie is worth the viewing. Horror films, we're not in the ooky spooky season, but from American Horror Story to Immaculate to, you know, the Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey 2, and now this movie, horror's in a fun spot right now. It's over the top, it's insane, it's shocking, and that's what the genre needs to be. We've spent too much time making family-friendly horror, I will say. Horror, that movie, you know, oh, my mom can watch this movie, my grandma can watch this. Your grandma would be praising and scared of this movie, and I want that, my goodness, The First Omen. What did you guys think of my review? What do you think of this movie? Share your thoughts down in the comments below. Subscribe to Flickering Myth, and give me a thumbs up if you did enjoy. All right, everyone, let's talk about The First Omen. Let's talk about The Omen franchise. Tell me about The Omen sequels. I barely remember when Damien got to the office. Tell me about all that stuff right down below.